Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. I have a bread and butter Bolo video for you. These are items that I sold for $35 or less on eBay. They sold faster on eBay. They were cross posted to Mercari and Poshmark. There's one item that I got free. Don't you love the freebies? All right, um, let's get started. Okay. And the first item came from I don't know. I don't remember. Um, actually, I think this might have been a mystery box now that I'm looking at it or a garage sale. One of the two. Anyway, I and I don't know what I paid for them either because I can't remember where I got them. Shucks. Not a good way to start the video. But I sold them for $29.74 and the buyer paid shipping. And I'm going to have to say I probably had a buck or two in these, if not less. And they're just these little angels and they hold the candles. They've got the original candles with them. And actually, I was a little surprised they went as quickly as they did for as high as they did. So, um, yeah. The next item I sold is this goose pump, blah, 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 goosebumps puzzle. And I picked this up at a garage sale for a buck. And um, it's vintage. It's super cool. It's from 1995. It's got, um, if you guys are familiar with the goosebumps books, those are definitely a bolo. So, if you can pick up, um, the vintage books, definitely be on the lookout for those. So I figured the puzzle would do pretty well. And I sold it for $15 in the buyer paid shipping. All right, this item came out of a Halloween, like mystery type box. And the reason I say mystery is, is because I didn't see every single thing that was in the box. So I wasn't 100% sure what all I was getting. So I was happily surprised. I bought this from a YouTube auction. The auction channel on YouTube is auctions, the number four and a capital U, auctions for you. There is a link down in the description of the video. And I also have an unboxing video of everything that I got in this box. So definitely go check out that video. It's a great place for resellers to source um, auctions for you. So again, it was a Halloween lot. I really like selling Halloween stuff. So. This was definitely a bread and butter item. And I was like, you know what? I don't know if this is going to sell or not, but it actually sold super fast. I took a best offer of $8 and the buyer paid the shipping and it was a quick eight bucks. The next item I sold is this Doc McStuffins toy lot. I pick up toys at garage sales. I feel like I have a hair in my face. Sorry. Uh, garage sales, thrift stores, and then I save them and I lot them. I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Care Bear. Picked it up at 50, for 50 cents at a garage sale. It's the birthday bear, 20th anniversary. It's still got the tags attached from 2002. And I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Lego Bionicle um, figure with the instruction manual, no box. This is a pre-owned item that um, I bought a whole bunch of these, like three boxes full of Bionicles and different Legos. And this one sold for $33.99 in the buyer paid shipping. So I don't know what the breakdown is per item. Not much. The next item I sold is this Hot Wheels car. I was listing in bulk a bunch of Hot Wheels and um, what are they called? Matchbox. And this one just caught my eye because it, it crashes, you know. And I put on my Instagram, I'm like, does anybody know what this car is called? And they're like, it's a crashers, boulder basher, whatever. And I was able to look it up. And this sold super, super fast. It sold for $7 in the buyer paid shipping, but it sold fast and it's super cool. And somebody was happy and I was happy to get the $7. So um, I don't know, you guys probably wouldn't waste your time. But to me, it was an easy list and I thought it was fun and it sold fast. So the next item I sold is this Cat's Meow Rudin's department store and it's Christmas. It's Mount Vernon. So it's like um, Mount Vernon is about, I think, 45 minutes from where I live. So it's very, um, I don't know if somebody in Mount Vernon bought it or not. I should have looked at that, but it's kind of a special one. It's a rare, let's say that. And it sold for $33.99 and the buyer paid shipping. So um, the cat's meow items are typically bread and butter. This one was a little bit better, but it has that Christmas look to it. It's got Santa in the front. It's really, really cute. The next item I sold, I got for free at a garage sale. I walk up to the garage sale. They had all of these die cuts. Um, it was a teacher and she was retired and 
they didn't have prices on any of this stuff. And it's, I think it said free and I got Valentine's day, Halloween, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter. So I lauded them by holiday and this one sold for $32 in the buyer paid shipping. Um, I have the other ones that are still listed. Uh, they're not moving as quickly as I had hoped, but, um, I was happy to sell this one and these are pretty cool. The next item I sold are these vintage Christmas cards. There are six cards, no envelopes. They are unused. You can see what they look like here. And this was a very, very long tail item. It took the right buyer, but I sold them for $16.99 in the buyer paid shipping. And I probably did not have much in it at all. The next item I sold is this Furby. Um, so it worked and then it stopped working and then it only moved and had no sound and I was like I quit <laughs> and I sold it as is for $25.49 and the buyer paid shipping and that came out of a mystery box. The next item I sold is this night before Christmas miniature Christmas ornament book. You know, I picked these up at a garage sale in a bag full. I don't remember how much was on the bag now, but these have done extremely well. If you see these little ornaments, definitely get them. They're like little storybooks. I mean, they're selling really well. I don't have, I don't, I don't know if I have any left. So they're bread and butter, but they're moving. Sold it for $15.29 in the buyer paid shipping. I'm guessing I had about a quarter in that. The next item is this Lenny and Eva Brown cuff bracelet with the piece plate on it. This came from my I um my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I sold this for $17 and the buyer paid the shipping. All right, here's another cake topper, which you guys are probably like, I'm not wasting my time with that, but I like selling toys. So I sold this for $10 and eight cents and the buyer paid shipping. And I probably had like 10 cents in it. The next item is this vintage 1983 rainbow bright puppy. It's a cake topper. It's adorable. Um, and I knew this was going to sell like, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is good. And I sold it for $19 and the buyer paid shipping. And it was just in a bunch of toys sitting in my basement for over a year. The next item I sold is this brother P touch label maker. I picked this up at a thrift store for $2 and 50 cents. I took a best offer of $35 and the buyer paid shipping. This guy is Michael Knight Rider action figure, David Hasselhoff. And he is vintage. He was in that same box of toys that had been sitting in my basement. I sold him for $13.44 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Misfit Christmas figurine set. It's new. I picked it up at a garage sale for $2 and I sold it for $34 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Lennox snowman ornament. And I was actually surprised what this one went for. I sold this for $20. I picked it up at a garage sale for a dollar and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is another Simpsons. And this one sold for $28, the buyer paid shipping. I picked this up at a uh, thrift store, a oh, ton of Simpsons stuff. Um, most of you probably already know the story, but I bought a bunch of it and it was all these little rooms and I was just going to put all the figures together and just auction them. And my husband's like, why would you do that? You've got the figures with the accessories that go in each little house. Why would you do that? And I'm like, because I don't want to look it all up. So he went through and looked up which characters went with which little, like this little, this is the, um, Springfield Burns Manor house. And he figured out what went where for me. And then I took all the pictures. I really probably should give him a commission. Nah. <laughs> the next item I sold are these vintage babies. It's a boy and a girl. These were in all those toys. And I sold these for $18.75 and the buyer paid shipping. So they came from a garage sale. I don't know what they go to, but they sold pretty fast. And you can see they've even got like issues with the paint coming off of the feet. So guys, if it's vintage, don't let that deter you from listing it. People will still buy it. The next item I sold is this Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs figures. And I sold these for $15. And I picked these up at a garage sale and the buyer paid shipping. And the last item are these Girl Scout pins and clips. They came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And I sold them for $14. And the buyer paid shipping. So this was a pretty quick video. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Um, check out one of my other videos. They're getting ready to pop up on the screen. 
Um, I've got category videos. I've got bread and butter videos. I've got big money bolo videos. I've got featured seller videos. I have tons of videos that tell you about bolo items. If you want to learn about list perfectly, I've got videos on that. I teach you how to cross post your items fast and quick using an extension called list perfectly. Amazing has changed my business. I used to manually cross post. It took me forever. And now I use list perfectly. It's so much faster. If you want to try it, I've got a referral coupon code, 30% off your first month of list perfectly with coupon code BOLO BUDDIES. Um, all one word that gets you 30% off your first month. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Be sure to. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Subscribe. I think there's a picture of me right here. Subscribe. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.